So wifey and I, we have tickets uh, to the Kansas City Chiefs game, which uh, will be against the Cleveland Browns at the Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. So we are RVing all the way from Washington, D.C. to Missouri uh, right now. We're getting ready to head over there right now. So tag along with us and enjoy the journey. arrived in Kansas City in downtown and we're gonna go ahead and walk around and check out the area and there's a, um, a market that we're gonna, we want to go uh, and see uh, what type of food they have so we can uh, do some shopping and possibly uh, do a little uh, dinner at the campsite uh, this evening so tag along let's go check out the city of Kansas or I should say Kansas City yeah. uh, and we're also going to be going to the game tomorrow, uh, which will be the season opening game for the Chiefs. They will be playing the Cleveland Browns. So we're very, uh, very excited and uh, looking forward to this. So tag along, guys. Let's go check out the city. So we have arrived at the um, Kansas City Market, um, which uh, has a lot of different vendors uh, selling food, uh, jewelry, uh, knickknacks, you name it. So we're going to go walk around and see what we can find. And you can also see downtown Kansas City in the background. But this is a uh, very cool area to visit if you're ever going to be in Kansas City. You definitely don't want to miss it because there's a lot of stuff to um, to check out and possibly find some really good food. So Ladina is having a vegetarian bowl. Uh, I believe it's a Thai rice bowl uh, at this place called the Hungry Hatch which has a lot of vegetarian and vegan options available. I on the other hand am going Brazilian it's called Taste of Brazil, and I'm gonna see what they have offer. So, uh, you know, see how the food is. So, Ladina just ordered a vegetarian bowl, which is uh, a Thai bowl that has um, peanuts, um, fava beans, shredded carrots, cabbage, um, quinoa, quinoa um, bell peppers, and it uh, looks like it's drizzled with a little bit of the sesame sauce and it comes on a bed of rice. It looks great. Looks good, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's excited. She's smiling. It's, it's not easy sometimes to find her the food that she that, that's 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 good that's good for her because you know she just had an operation done, so she has to watch everything she eats. So it's it's definitely refreshing to be able to find something she can eat and enjoy. Plus, being a vegetarian, I always have to. Um Make modifications to my food depending on where we go. Yeah. But I mean, I can go to a barbecue restaurant and still just eat, the, eat like the sides or something. It doesn't matter. But it can't be any just any barbecue. It has to be a good barbecue, like a Kansas City barbecue. <laughs> Southern barbecue. Exactly. All right, so my uh, meal came out and I ordered from Taste of Brazil right here in City Market in Kansas City. I ordered the Brazilian style. Um, grilled steak with rice and beans and 
also comes with a little bit of chimichurri sauce, um, garlic powder, and I believe this is a mango for the gallo. And for dessert, I'm gonna try try their Brazilian flan. So let's check it out. Let's let's dig in. Let's see uh, what this is all about. We also got some uh, fried yuca with uh, chimichurri uh, sauce for dipping. It looks crispy, it looks delicious. Let's dig in. Medina and I came and uh, we ordered some coffee. I got the Cubano and uh, she got just a regular coffee, but um, I think based on what I'm seeing, they got really good the uh, operation going. At City Market Coffee House, uh, once you come inside, you will find this very old style coffee bean roaster. As you can see, it's a very large device and is connected to the um, wall for ventilation while they are roasting the coffee beans. So as you can see, it goes right into this uh, opening, it goes through the uh, machine, which it will roast the coffee and then it will throw it back out into this tray and then later on, it's uh, moved to the grinders to uh, grind them and brew them for the customers. But this is a very cool device and it looks like uh, it's a very old style coffee roaster. Very cool. of Kansas Bridge which goes over uh, Missouri River and uh, this is a nice little um, walking trail if you will um, if you're in the city uh, not too far from the city market uh, it's a nice little uh, walk to come out here and check out the river uh, I'd say it's approximately about a quarter of a mile from the city market The Kansas Town Bridge that brings you from the city market to the riverfront actually brings you down uh, to this trail that goes right along the side of the river. Um, and that's what we're doing right now. My wife and I are walking this riverfront um, that runs along the city and there are some really cool and beautiful sights to check out while you're, do, you know, while you're doing this walk. We are checking out Anthony Bryant's uh, barbecue restaurant. We're actually not going to eat here. We're just picking up some sauces as they are known for their barbecue. Um, a variety of uh, barbecue sauces that they sell by the bottle. So we're gonna go inside and grab a few. So we are here, baby. So we are here at the Arthur Bryant's restaurant, which is the world renowned barbecuer from Kansas City. So uh, we just picked up some sauces there, but Ladina is gonna give us a little more detail about this restaurant. So uh, tell, tell, tell the audience about Arthur Bryant's barbecue. Okay, so Arthur Bryant, um, I had to look it up online, but 
he's considered a legend. He's a legendary king of ribs. Um, he's the most renowned barbecuer in history. And he created these sauces that um, are supposedly like so popular that former presidents Harry Truman, Jimmy Carter, and Barack Obama came to his restaurant. Not only for the barbecue, but also for these sauces. So um, we were on our way somewhere else and I was planning on coming here and we were going somewhere else and I was like, oh my God, there's the restaurant, we gotta stop. So we got the uh, or the or we got the original. The original Arthur Bryant's barbecue, okay? Yeah, so I asked everybody inside what was their favorite. They all said the original. Okay. And then Sebastian wanted to try the spicy. I wanted to try the spicy. Yep, 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 yep. He's a little more adventurous. I like to go traditional. Yeah, but so, more people original. inside said go with the traditional, right? Yes, yeah. Original. Okay. Awesome. So, you guys, if you are in the Kansas City area ever, ever, you guys need to come over here and, and check out this amazing barbecue joint that is uh, worldwide known for their sauces and of course the founder he is known as the king of barbecue so we are here at 18th and vine uh, in kansas uh, city this area is known for a variety of murals as uh, like the one behind me and so we're gonna walk this uh, street up and down and try to find all the beautiful um, art artistic uh, murals that are uh, supposedly um, all over the, the area known at known as 18th and Vine. Woodyard Barbecue, which is one of the most popular uh, barbecue joints in Kansas City. Various celebrity chefs have been here, such as Anthony Bourdain, Andrew Zimmern, and also Guy Fieri. Um, so I wanted to check this place out just to see what all what the buzz is all about. And um, we order various uh, types of meats uh, and a couple of platters for pickup, as you may know that the with the concerns of COVID, I didn't want to be in a crowded restaurant. So we just ordered pick, uh, for to go and we're going to pick, uh, pick up the food, take it back to our campsite and uh, have our dinner in front of this beautiful lake at the campground. So, and I will let you guys know what the food, uh, what the food is like and if it's worth your, uh, if it's worth your visit. So we start out with the cornbread um, that comes with a few cubes of butter, as you can see in the plate, and also a little bit of a, I think this is a corn chowder. That goes, oh, it's cheesy corn, but it looks like corn pudding to me. Um, so this is cheesy corn or corn chowder, um, but it goes really well with the cornbread. Okay, so that's one of the sides that we got. And we also got a pint of the coleslaw which looks like yeah, it's pretty it looks good it looks like it's gonna be really good all right so we also have i got some uh brisket uh with some bread and onion rings um and i think the barbecue sauce is right here mm -hmm. um, and i also got a little quarter of a rib that's right underneath the uh bread but yeah, it's a common. So it was this is a combination plot of the ribs and brisket with onion rings. Unfortunately, they were out of potato salad, which we were looking forward to trying, but we got there a little late, so um, they were out of a uh, few of the things that we had ordered. But uh, we're gonna dig in and enjoy this dinner. The brisket is phenomenal. I'll give them that. The ribs are really, really good. Uh, the cheesy corn. It's good. It could be better. The cornbread, I think it's great. My wife doesn't think so. Uh, the coleslaw, I don't think is that is 
as creamy as it should be. Um, it looks like a very, very cold, um, very, very dry coleslaw. Um, but overall, I mean, if I had to give them a rating from a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give them 7. And the beans are good too. Adina? Well, I personally find my country style food better. Um, I think the cornbread is a little on the dry side. This, I mean, maybe if you mix it up, actually, the bottom has a little bit of more stuff, but I think it could be creamier. Okay. Um, I don't know how the meat tastes. I love that. I, I think the meat is really tender. The, the, the brisket is wonderful. So, and the ribs are really, really good too. So, so personally, I think if all the hype that this place is getting, it has to be because of the meat, because I'm not seeing it in the sides. All right. Well, we tried it. Um, we're probably gonna, um, you know, um, you know, try different barbecue places as we return to Kansas City to see other games. Um, so this isn't the last one. So we are slowly approaching the Arrowhead Stadium. As you can see, there's quite a bit of a traffic. we couldn't do it because of COVID you know we had bought these tickets but unfortunately couldn't use them so um, uh, the company that we bought the tickets from they were nice enough to give us credit for this season so we are uh, definitely using it and it's gonna be a great game I know it let's go inside city um, going heading back towards uh, Washington DC and we both got really hungry once we got into Illinois and uh, 
we saw a sign for a uh, restaurant slash bar um, that is called Rumors Has It. It's in the town of Crigsville. That's, I believe, Crigsville, if I'm not mistaken. And this is a town of population of uh, 1,300 people. That's it. 1,300 people. And this is, I think, the only place that is in this town. Okay. So we're going to go inside and check it out. So we just ordered a bunch of sides and a couple of sandwiches. We are starting out with the fried pickles and what was the other one? Fried cauliflower. Fried cauliflower and this is some sort of There's a... There's some corn, corn bites in there too. There's some corn bites, okay. So let's dig in. I think this is some sort of a ranch. Yeah. Okay. Alright. How is it? I think they're wrong fried pickles. So. Yeah. So I ordered the fried tenderloin sandwich. This thing is enormous. And she ordered the vegetarian wrap. Yeah, it's a little messy, but it's got fried cauliflower and buffalo sauce on it. So this thing is enormous. Good lord. Here we go. This definitely was a great experience. The food was fantastic. The service was even better. Um, so I highly recommend it if you guys ever are um, traveling on uh, I-72, uh, you can take uh, the exit for Griggsville, Illinois, and that'll bring you straight into town. And this is the only restaurant I believe in town. So. Uh, you won't miss it. It's a very small town. Again, only uh, a population of 1,300 people. And usually this is where you find hidden gems, uh, you know, the unexpected locations. Uh, but I really enjoyed it. I, I, it's just the service was something that uh, I, I don't think I'll ever forget. The food was really good. Even though it's your, your traditional American food, it was fantastic. All right, guys. Gotta hit the road again. This was a great stop. This is all credits to my wife. She's really good when it comes to geography and finding these little places. It's a very patriot, uh, patriotic town, by the way. You see flags everywhere, which I absolutely love. Little town, huh? It is. They're very patriotic. That's what I was just saying. Yep. So I hope you guys enjoyed our video uh, of our Kansas City trip and the Kansas City Chiefs game. Um, if you have any questions about Kansas City and some of the places that we have visited, please leave a comment below and um, I'll be more than happy to respond. In the meantime, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, uh, hit that like button and follow us on our social media platforms, including our YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and following us on our journey to Missouri and please continue watching the rest of our videos as more videos will be posted um, weekly or bi-weekly thanks again and see you guys next time